So I'm out fishing this morning and I thought I'd go over uh, a couple of quick tips if you've been working on your sculling draw. You might have heard of the sculling draw, you might have heard of sculling. Sculling is the idea of using your blade through the water as if you're, let's say, uh, spreading peanut butter or jelly on toast, right? The idea is you have a climbing angle and as you move your blade through the water, uh, that movement gives you the ability to make the kayak do whatever you want. So for example, right now I'm drifting because of the tide coming in and that's what made me think of this. Uh, I'm gonna use a sculling draw on the side to either keep me a place or to bring me back to where I was. So there's tons of really great instructional videos online on how to do the sculling draw. I just wanted to give a couple of tips if you see that you're not being really efficient at it. Uh, just three things to try next time you're on the water. The first thing, is to go slowly. One of the things you see when people are not having uh, success moving the kayak is they're just they're just moving their paddle very quickly through the water. They're not really engaging with the water. One of the things to think about is slowing things down. Go very, very slowly and make your movements all the way from the front to the back. So you're really using uh, you're using every inch of your movement as you move from side to side. Second thing to try is to face what you're doing. So really try to twist in your seat and uh, face with your shoulders what you're trying to do on the water. If you're facing forward doing this, you're not gonna be as efficient as if you're looking where you're moving and that gives you also the full range of motion from the front all the way to the back. If you're facing forward, you're only getting to play with that quadrant over there. However, if you're facing the side, now you can really reach back and you can reach forward and use the entire length of the cockpit so that you can get a grip on the water. Remember to go slowly. And then the third thing to try next time you're doing this is to think of that other upper hand. Try to push it as far over as you can and keep it up top. The reason for that is if you're sculling over here and that top hand is over, look at the, look at the angle of the paddle. However, if you push that hand along with facing the way you're going, all of a sudden that paddle can be vertical. And if the paddle is vertical, then you are using that climbing angle efficiently to move the boat sideways. If you're just kind of doing this on top of the surface, then you're really just getting lift. You're not really moving sideways. So slow, face the side upper hand, upper hand, up and over. That way you're trying to get the most out of what you're doing. The sculling draw is really useful for moving the kayak around, especially from side to side, but you could use it pretty much as long as you change the way you're doing your, your skull. You can pretty much move your kayak in any direction you want. And when you find the sweet spot of your kayak, you can move it sideways. You can get it to turn also as you're moving sideways. There's a lot of things you can do. And then in this case, since I'm fishing, it's very useful for me to get back to a certain spot to, uh, let's say if I'm trying to anchor into a place or if I drop something in the water, it's very easy to just get in there and then scroll back to where I was. So I hope that was helpful. I'll try to come back with a couple of three new things to try next time you're doing something on different uh, moves. If you have any comments, any questions, please do leave them below. Subscribe if you like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. As always, the Boring Guy Kipster. Thank you for watching and see you next time.